Without a doubt, the biggest bombshell dropped near the end of the 2022 Cup season. Jimmy Johnson was returning to the NASCAR Cup Series. However, this was not a reunion with Hendrick Motorsports, but a tie-up with fellow seven-time champion Richard Petty. Of course, one big question will be about the racing number that Johnson will use. Despite his history, the number 48 is out of the question, as Alex Bowman is using it. Additionally, the Hendrick Motorsports team owns that number, and they have no plans to give it up. With that out of the way, the big question is which number will Johnson use? The Petty GMS Motorsports team decided to tease the fans a little in this aspect. They dropped a small riddle, suggesting the number that he should use for the upcoming campaign. The ploy worked, and it wasn't long before it went viral. Petty GMS Motorsports tweeted, NASCAR fans be like, Jimmy had three eggs for breakfast this morning and spent $62 on gas off exit 9 today. 3 plus 62 plus 9 equals 74, so clearly he should be number 74 next year. How did Jimmy Johnson react to this fun? Petty GMS Motorsports' suggestion was that he should use the number 74. However, Johnson countered that with his own suggestion of number 75. His justification was that he was born in 1975, so in his words, that was my move. Of course, this kind of statement could mean anything, and this is just his way of messing with the fans. The first opportunity will be at the Daytona 500. Over the season, there will surely be other chances for him to race in. Without a doubt, an announcement may soon come where the team will confirm his racing number. One also has to wonder whether his two seasons away from the NASCAR Cup Series will affect him. After all, this could be his first time in the next-gen car, and the other drivers have grown used to it. Whatever he and the team decide, it will be exciting to see which number he will use. Johnson announced his retirement from full-time racing at the end of the 2020 season, after which he gave up NASCAR. Since that time, he has raced in two different seasons of the NTT IndyCar Series. Now, the driver will compete in NASCAR for the following season. However, he will do it with a new team. When the new racing season begins in 2023, the former star driver for Hendrick Motorsports will be one of the drivers competing in the Daytona 500. In addition to the Daytona 500, Johnson will compete in a number of other carefully chosen races, the specifics of which have not yet been determined. Furthermore, if the rumors are to be believed, it is not going to be the only racing position that he has, as someone else has been eyeing Johnson as a potential candidate for their team. Kyle Busch, owner of Kyle Busch Motorsports in the NASCAR Truck Series, teased that Johnson could drive the number 51 All-Star Truck during the 2023 season. Johnson has not competed in the Truck Series since the 2008 season at Bristol Motor Speedway in the number 81 truck for the NFL Hall of Famer Randy Moss. It was his only Truck Series start as he came home with a 34th place finish after crashing. This would be very notable as Johnson would share a seat with both Bush and Jack Wood. Kyle Busch Motorsports made this possible after moving to Chevrolet when Bush left Joe Gibbs Racing for Richard Childress Racing. Of course, Johnson joining Petty GMS Motorsports has a factor in this possibility. The organization is a part of the Chevrolet family, and both of its drivers, Eric Jones and Noah Gregson, have driven full-time for Kyle Busch Motorsports. It would be really neat for every single NASCAR fan to see Johnson compete in the truck series. There was a time when Johnson's future in NASCAR remained unknown after leaving for two seasons. The sport benefits from seeing one of the best drivers in NASCAR history compete in several events. It will be interesting to see if this situation with Johnson and Kyle Busch Motorsports comes to fruition next season. Petty Richard Petty, chairman of GMS Motorsports, gave an interview on the Outside Groove podcast a week ago when he discussed Jimmy Johnson's plans for 2023. He said that the former driver will compete for the team in a total of five races, the first of which will be the Daytona 500 to kick off the new racing season. Later on, he mentioned that he and Jimmy Johnson and Noah Gregson are looking forward to having a successful year together. Petty said, Jimmy's going to run five races for us, starting at Daytona. That's going to give us a third car from time to time. He'll have to make the races which he shouldn't have any trouble doing. He continued, we're looking forward to really a big year. With Jimmy coming on and Noah, I think we've got a heck of a lineup of drivers. 
even though IndyCar's 17 race schedule is half as long as NASCAR's 36 race slate, Johnson still found it nearly as taxing. He has joked since last year about traveling and working nearly as much since his retirement from stock car racing. Even though he has fewer races, he still has the commitments of multiple series that are accompanied by testing, which is virtually non-existent in NASCAR, and long simulator sessions. Johnson has made regular comments to Indianapolis for Honda Performance Development Simulator. Returning to NASCAR and driving the next-gen car is intriguing to Johnson. The seven-time Cup Series champion stays in touch with drivers and has heard about the car's teething pains, but he's also heard about the brake package and how shifting is back in play, which has been fun for drivers. Johnson said, What's funny is, when they were developing the car, I didn't want any more work. I was invited to drive the car a few times and I was like, I'm retiring. I'm not driving that thing. Why would I want to drive it? Now I'm like, well, why didn't I drive it? It would have been cool, and I'd have some understanding of how different it is, but I didn't want to work anymore at that time. I'm wishing I did take that offer. The good news for his fans is that if Johnson does get the chance to run NASCAR races, he doesn't want to be a one and done. He wants a couple of starts to get a good feel for things and hopefully have a good showing. On top of the sad reality that his skills were already clearly in decline well before he even quit full-time Cup Series racing, there's also the fact that Petty GMS is a mid-tier team at best. Unlike the powerhouse Hendrick Motorsports organization, where Johnson made all 686 of his previous cup starts in the number 48 Chevrolet. Do you think that Johnson will jump in a next-gen car and not miss a beat, given the fact that he was sparsely competitive in his final seasons with the old generation 6-cup car that had been around since 2013? It's also worth noting that Johnson's crew chief in 2017 and 18 was present-day Hendrick Motorsports executive Chad Noss, the same guy who was responsible for leading him to 81 of his 83 career victories, and the same guy who is hailed as one of the brightest and most innovative minds in NASCAR's 74-year history. So, Jimmy Johnson has a tall hill to climb to be competitive in a part-time role. Based on all the information, which doesn't even touch on how badly Johnson struggled over the past two years, as first a part-time, then full-time IndyCar Series driver, do you think that Johnson is going to come out and set the woods on fire with a petty GMS team? The team that has logged just one Cup Series season under its current name and ownership structure. Let's also not forget that while Johnson was running a full-time IndyCar schedule in 2022, the NASCAR Cup Series was debuting a new model car. The next-gen vehicle that Johnson has turned not a single lap in. So what results are you expecting from Johnson when he hits the track in 2023? Tell us in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button. Then you'll be sure to get the latest uploads right into your feed. We have plenty more great content coming soon.